Hey guys, so we're back with another video and today we're using towering heights again. So I'm just gonna get right into it. Hopefully we get to start off with uh, with the throw or we can get in with uh, the Pissimian. That way we can get some cards, do some damage. But we're going up against the Charizard deck, so nothing like too effective. I mean, the Yan Mega could affect us um, being a grass type, so that's not the best thing. Yeah, okay. Um, there's only 60 HP on the Gibble, so I might just start putting energy on this Gibble. That way, yeah, because they can start taking me out pretty quick. So let's play Bug Catcher. We're going to get two cards from that. Let's do this. Yeah, there we go. So we're gonna put in that throw, and hopefully this is a quicker uh, match game. So we're gonna put the throw in. Yeah, we'll have to swap out the gibble, uh, like right away. Oh, okay, so they're gonna take out the gibble. So we're gonna put Pissimi in then. Pessimian in. So Pessimian being in, that allows us to just take a hit, really. There's nothing else to it. Um, yeah, we'll put Groudon on the bench. Put that, and then we'll play Lily. That way we can draw some more cards. Evolve our Gibble. And then we'll go Spike Draw. Alright, so now we can take him out with the throw. So hopefully he does damage using the U-turn. If not, um, I don't really know what to do if not. Because I think the big problem is gonna, it's going to be the Yon Megas. Because even the 50 for most, well, for Groudon, uh, Garchomp, and then for Seismitoad, it's going to be 100 because of the weakness to grass. Alright, so we're going to go retreat and we're going to put throw in. And I think, yeah, we'll do that for now. And then hopefully they don't have a Charizard. They might though, if they're putting the Charm Chameleon out. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure. I don't know if they're hoping to get a Charizard, but they haven't. <clears throat> they haven't played a Leon, so it's only a hundred. Unless they get a Leon, no, they didn't. So yeah. <clears throat> So they're only going to do 100. So throw still gets a hit in. And then I'm going to start putting energies on the guard chomp. And we can take out that Yan Mega when they put it in. <clears throat> Alright. So it doesn't seem to be going too bad at the moment. And now we just got a Tim Ball. Alright, so this isn't going to take him out. Didn't really think about that. But we did 120. Um, I mean, if they don't put an energy on Yan Mega, then I'm okay to put Garchomp out. Oh, yes, yeah, so let's go. All right, we won another Dan. All right. So they're going to battle sense. What they get rid of? I don't think they got rid of anything. Yeah. All right, so they put another energy on Yan Mega. That's not the best. Hmm. All right, so we're gonna do this actually. This works because we can do. 
Yeah, because we can do 60 this way. All right, so mini earthquake. We're gonna do 10 to our bench. It's not the worst. I don't think it would change anything with um, like the damage that they would do. It wouldn't allow them to take me out one shot earlier. All right, so they put a great ball out. They're probably going for Yon Mega or to get like a, another Charmander, yeah. Because they still have one more charge that we have to be careful of right now. We'll see what they do here though. Because they can take him out right now and that's kind of what I'm hoping for. Because then I can just put my guard chomp in. All right. Oh, okay. So that's not the best. I think we'll just go Groudon and we'll wait. Yeah. So we'll do this, and then that way they have to attack Groudon with the Yon Mega. So I'm hoping even if they, like, they'll have to put the Yon Mega out if they want to take my Groudon out before it attacks. That's what I'm thinking. But if they get to one prize card, realistically, it's better for me. Okay, so they, they did exactly what I wanted them to. Because now I can put the Garchomp out. Garchomp's going to one-shot, because it's going to do... Should do 60. Yeah, because they have more prize cards. Nope. Alright, so we're going to play that. Put another energy on. Play Guard Chomp. And it should do more. Yeah, this Pokemon's attack to do more damage. We'll put a Grout on down, and then we'll play Cynthia. Because I need to get new cards out. Yeah, so we have a throw. Alright, we can't put any energies on, but we'll do that. I'll just do done because we're going to do 160. So 160. We're going to have three prize cards left. So I'm still going to do more damage. And what do they need? They still need a Leon, I think. Yeah, because their attack is still going to do 100. So unless they get a Leon, it's not really going to help them. Unless they're going to save up a Leon and play it when they put their Charizard out. Which I wouldn't be surprised. Because it's, it's not a bad idea. Get 180 damage that way, I think it is. Because it's 50 for the discard. Yeah, and then Leon is, um, by itself does 30. Alright, so they still have more. We're going to do that. And we'll play the Gibble. Bug Catcher just to get some more cards. All right, we got all energies. Um, we still do more, so it's a one shot. All right. And I think I have a challenge. I think it's just to um, evolve Pokemon. I could be wrong, but I think it's just evolve 10 uh, ground fighting types. All right, but what I'm thinking here is, unless they take me out, I'm going to put the Gabite out, and I'm going to start putting energies onto Gabite. Alright, so they had a Lugia, and they had a Fire Energy, so they still have yet to play that Leon. And I don't know if they're going to be able to play that Leon anytime soon. Alright, so they got Charizard on Mega back, two Fire Energies. I'm surprised they haven't gotten a Leon. They have 10 cards remaining unless they're, there's one in their prize cards and then the other one's in their deck. But either way, that's unlucky and unlikely. unlikely. But I guess that's what happened. All right. So I'm gonna use the Guard Chomp's Over Slice um, ability and then that way we can just do more. And then 
We're gonna go Pokemon communication. We're gonna swap you out. And we're gonna get our guard chomp out. So then with the guard chomp, we can always just put him on the Gabite and we have two options. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna discard, done. And so the only problem is if he does get a Leon, yeah, if he does get a Leon, I need to play the, the Garchomp. So I think I might need to either way. But I don't I don't know if he's pulling this Leon. I think one is in his prize card. I don't know why he would take out another Charizard unless he has another Switch. But I don't know if he does. They use two. I think you only have two Switches. Right. So they're going Battle Sense again. So they do need the Leon. They didn't get it, unless they got it in their cards. But this is, okay, so they did get the Leon. So it's gonna do 150, which is a problem because I get taken out with 150. So I think that's, I think that's actually game. I just don't have a strong enough Pokemon. I don't have a way to make him swap out. Yeah, I think that's game. All right. I mean, really came down to the wire. I'm using this deck for the for the challenge. I think it's a pretty good deck. So they had a Leon waiting. Unless they just drew it. I'm really confused now that they played a second Leon. But that's going to be it. We'll see how many... Um, Evolution cards we'll put in play. I think we put in four or five. Yeah, so we put in five. 910 damage. Not the worst. I mean, going up against the Charizard decks, it's always harder. Especially that one with the different types they have available to them. But that's going to be it for the video. Until next time, make sure to like, subscribe, and peace.